a festival is held in Egadez every December to celebrate the coronation of the Sultan of Aya. A Tuareg kingdom in northern Niger. Al Hajj Omar Ibrahim never needs to launch an electoral campaign. His claim to power is hereditary. I am the Sultan of all the Tuareg of the Ayir. I have just replaced my father who died in 2012. The role of the Sultan is crucial in maintaining social cohesion. I act as an arbiter between the different clans. I mobilize them and I raise awareness among the youth against violence. He's the latest in a line of local chiefs who have ruled here for 500 years. Surviving natural calamities, colonial invasion, local rebellions and political upheaval. The founder of the dynasty was said to be an Ottoman prince. He arrived here in 1405, there's no doubt about that, and his name was Yunus. There were some serious rivalries between the different Tuareg clans at the time, so they sent 400 cavaliers to the Ottoman Sultan asking him to send someone who could stay with them as a ruler, arbiter, imam and spiritual leader. Only seven cavaliers were able to reach the Sultan and he favorably responded to the request and sent Yunus. Sultan Umaru still lives in his centuries-old mud brick palace, known as Gidan Yusuf, or the House of Yusuf. His court is never empty. He's not only obeyed, but also venerated. His followers see him as both ruler and spiritual guide. He's also an invaluable asset to Niger. Within his personal jurisdiction, he can uphold family law, deal with intertribal complaints, and help with security concerns. In a troubled region, the government relies on the Sultan's traditional influence to maintain social order and tribal peace. Our country has a perfect organization of the traditional chiefdom. There is an association of tribal chiefs with the president, a secretary general, and all that's required to make it a functional institution. Other African nations which abolished local chiefdoms suffered inter-ethnic strife, such as in Darfur in Western Sudan. Successive governments in Niger, whether inadvertently or by design, have managed to preserve the institution of local rule and enjoy an inter-tribal peace dividend. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera.